What's up, guys? It's Jay. More than to kill, and I'm back here on Destiny. And oh my god, the sky is falling, guys. <laughs> Up has become down, down has become sideways, and well, sideways just flat out said, "Fuck this shit." He's lay on his back over there with a blunt. It's rolled so tight, you would think it was a virgin on her prom night. Damn. <laughs> so, uh, what's all the commotion about, Mac? Well, uh. Haven't you heard, guys? Bungie announced that House of Wolves is not going to contain a raid activity. Instead, it's going to give us the Prison of Elders Horde Mode Co-op Arena. Now, I've already made a video talking about the news, but I've been talking about this for the last few days, not only with you guys, my community, but I've also discussed this with a few other streamers, and YouTubers, and people are like, I'm a god back when you say YouTubers and streamers, you probably just mean rum isn't goth. <laughs> god damn it, you're right. <laughs> but I, I've gotten some very mixed reactions out of the community, and I, I wanted to go ahead and put my take on this news, because I, I feel like this is an amazing move on Bungie's behalf, and so many people are just, they're not getting on the boat. They're missing the entire boat. The hype train is real. And I want you guys to better understand my reasoning on why I'm so hyped about this Prison of Elders co-op, horde mode, battle of real, whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> the new activity inside of House of Wolves. So first off, uh, let's get one thing out of the way. And that's uh, people who are running around and are uh, clack and clack back say that uh, Bungie sold them the expansion pass with the promise of new raids. Well, uh, motherfuckers, on the screen right now, I'm going to show you that the word raid is never mentioned once on the expansion pass promo material that sold you this content it says expand your destiny adventure with brand new story missions co-op activities pvp multiplayer arenas new gear and weaponry all right <laughs> in, in fact if you remember back to october we didn't even know there was going to be a new raid until all the data miners leaked the crota's end so, uh, no. Bun Bungie doesn't owe you a new raid. You bought the expansion pass. And as far as it's listed, everything that Bungie revealed in the House of Wolves seems to be consistent with what's included in the expansion pass. Including new story missions, co-op activities, PvP multiplayer arenas, New gear and weaponry. <laughs> so, uh, no. There, there's nothing shady about this on Bungie's end. But I do want to explain something for a lot of the newer guys to this type of game. This is a loot and shoot RPG quasi MMO. And, you know, these games are designed with content expansion in mind the game world will always constantly be expanded and changing with each update and each expansion now bungie wants to keep your interest in destiny and if they want to do this they need to add more content and more activities but it also needs to be varied activities or else the game's just gonna devolve into kind of what borderlands 2 ended up being where you just log on each day you go ahead make your rounds kill all the raid belt bosses and then you can choose to either keep farming the same bosses all over again or you can go play another game and uh bungie doesn't want this to happen you know because that's exactly what would happen to destiny if they just keep adding in raids it, it might be fine for the rpg guys but there is a significant FPS player based community on Destiny. And you have to remember that this game caters to two very different communities. Bungie has already given us two raids 
in six months, one of which was free, the vote of glass. <laughs> but uh, if, if you want to take a look at it, there are people that play this game just because it's a very tight, controlled, polished, and very rewarding first-person shooter to play in. You know, doing the raids, the structure of the raids, the co-op activity of the raids, how you have to, you know, work together as a team to make it through. If you have a weak link in your group, you might not get the raid done that week. That might not be their cup of tea. Some people just want to play and shoot things in the face. I'm one of these people, actually. <laughs> in fact, it might seem weird to a lot of the newer guys around here, but I didn't even go into the Volta Glass until a week before Crota came out. Just, it didn't interest me. The, the raid, the whole structure, everything about it. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I would rather do a Nightfall Strike or do some Rock Strikes with my friends than I would to sit there and be frustrated because, you know, two people aren't pulling their weight in the goddamn raids. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I think that the raids are cool, but mostly I only do them just to get the loot. It, it, you're gonna have a real hard time press to find me doing the raid if I'm not getting loot. If I've already done the raid that week, and I'm done doing the raid that week. I, I don't sit there and be like, yeah! Let's go ahead and do some raids, guys, because I'm not gonna get shit from it. <laughs> I would rather play a rock strike and, you know, just get a bunch of blue engrams all day long. But I don't mind endlessly and mindlessly shooting at enemies and I enjoy that I, I like the fast-paced action that destiny has to offer but I feel like if they did have a raid level challenge in an environment that's not structured like a raid like a horde mode that it would strike a balance between endgame activities for both the FPS and RPG side of the community because whether you like it or not, here is an interesting statistic. Only like 20 to 30 percent of Destiny's entire player base has ever completed a raid. And that's going by the trophies inside the game. It means 80 percent of the end game players are left without a goddamn thing to do. And there's you guys out there that are thinking about like, Ah, I want the raid, we don't have anything to do. Think about people that don't do raids and how much less they've had to do over the last six months than you have. And see what I'm saying? You, you see where I'm coming from? Sounds a little bit greedy to be like, Oh my god, we want an activity that only 20% of the player base is actually going to play. <laughs> that, uh, that 80% of players that are that are alienated with nothing left to do that number is way too fucking high Bungie knows that now with that said I'm fairly certain that a lot of you guys out there that like the RPG side of things and you like the raid I still feel like that you're gonna enjoy having multiple new endgame activities in the game and that's what Bungie is doing they're trying to strike a balance for everybody they're, they're building a game that over time will develop into a fully realized experience and you get to help shape that along the way so you know at, at the end Bungie's goal is to have a very clear and solid progression path that's fun and makes sense but also add in plenty of endgame activities to keep people that have been playing the game coming back with reason to play. Now, no one's saying that there's not going to be any more raids. We already know that there's going to be a huge content expansion later this year with the Comet DLC. Activision has already confirmed that. Bungie hasn't said shit about it, but Activision was like, Yep, Destiny is getting a huge content expansion later this fall. We don't give a fuck if Bungie's going to go ahead and leave this. Whoa, 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 fucking tell people. Our goddamn selves. So, with with a huge content expansion coming later, why would they rush a raid in the House of Wolves when they're still currently working on fixing the Volta Glass and Crota's End? It gives them all summer long to get both of those raids polished 100% and shape a new experience for a new raid in the huge comet expansion later this year. And you never know. Maybe that 80% of Destiny's player base that doesn't play the raids 
might be ready to take on a raid later this year when the huge comic expansion comes. But, the last thing I want to let you guys think about is the possibility of what a Horde Mode Arena in Destiny could mean. It could have three player matchmaking, so you always have an end game activity to play and people to play with. We all know that Bungie and their Nightfall Strikes, they love their modifiers in Horde modes too, with uh, Firefight from Halo. And I'm pretty sure that you're going to be seeing things like damage modifiers, burn modifiers, point multipliers, and even things like overshields, uh, health and speed boosts for a short period of time. I, f I feel like you might be seeing those things make a, uh, you know, different experience each time that you come inside of the arena. And they could possibly change the enemies that spawn each week. You never know. There's all types of things that they could do with this multiplayer arena. And if that doesn't get you hype, I know what will. <laughs> Are you ready? Sword round. Motherfucker. Damn. You didn't even think about that, did you? You didn't even think, like, Oh, man, you know, what if they gave us a round where we could just run around and hit everything with a goddamn sword? Uh, that might... That might make it all worthwhile now, won't it? <laughs> so, my name is Jay. We're after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. If you got something to say, motherfucker, the comment section down below is the place to say it. But don't... Right. <laughs> so, like I said, my name's Jay. We're after kill. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you guys later.